My name is Yifan Jing. I am a Chinese Canadian artist and uh, I make paintings, animation, performance, sculpture sometimes. We're at the Rossville Museum and this is a show made by myself and my collaborator James J. Mercer and the title is called Vacation. Vacation tells the story about one guy coming home from college, got uh, caught in a volcano explosion, and somehow was supposed to make a life for himself on the beach. Through meeting different animals, he goes on this journey to discover where he has to clock in for work. A factory that is the ecosystem that we call nature. Through this story and through the unfolding of every aspect of this main character, you're supposed to think about that idea a little bit, how you're part of this system, how you're part of this larger cycle, and that perhaps will change how you care for it. It's a lot of work for two people, but it's also a lot of freedom for two people. We didn't really need to negotiate with a lot of outside things. Let's say if you were making film, all these material conditions will come to play. But if you're making animation, it's almost just about how far the limitations of your imagination could stretch. Our division of a labor in terms of making an animation is really intuitive. Of course, there's a lot of discussion going on during the making of it, but it's usually after we made the decision independently. It's sort of like exclusive corpse. You would just go ahead and draw a bit of it and then you hand it back to the person and then they will take the liberation to do what they want with it. We give each other that permission. So that's why we work together very closely, but also independently. The reason why it would look so painterly because we're both painters <laughs> And it's interesting making animation because you're not explicitly in dialogue with other paintings. As you're, uh, in the case I was making a painting, I kind of know that I am within a shared dialogue between all the paintings that came before and around this particular one that I'm making. Uh, animation which has another set of expectations you're really free to do whatever you want and you're influenced by it, art history and all the paintings that you have seen in that whole idiom there but there's a lot of wiggle room for what you do with it 